the Ozark Sports Sports Show here joining the head coach of the Crane Lady Pirates, Coach Jeremy Mullins. And for today's show, we got a preseason preview to talk about with the head coach of the Crane Lady Pirates, Coach Jeremy Mullins. Coach Mullins coming off at 17-5 and uh, season last year, where they lost in the district championship round to Blue Eye last year. So, Coach Mullins, you, you're going to have some a uh, little bit of a mix between some uh, seniors, uh, some uh, juniors, some uh, sophomores, and freshmen. So, what's going to be the expectations that you're going to be going in? to this 2021-2022 uh, season? Well, um, first of all, thanks for having me, Adam. Always a pleasure to talk to you. And, you know, the expectations are as always. You know, I want my girls to come in, work hard every day with good attitudes, and uh, try to work on their fundamental skill sets so we can come together collectively and uh, try to win some basketball games. So we start tonight with our jamboree at home. We're hosting uh, East Newton. Here's City and uh, Foresight, so it ought to be a good, some good matchup for us. Some preseason scrimmages here, and then uh, next Monday we go to Ash Grove. So we play the uh, Ash Grove Lady Pirates, and then we'll kick the season off and see where it takes us. So going into that East Newton or that, uh, that jamboree that you're going to that you guys are going to be in, which is going to be at your place tonight with uh, East Newton Forsyth and uh, Pierce City. So that's going to be a mixture between some big schools and some, and some small schools. So when you have that jamboree at Crane with those schools, um, does that test the players on how they do against bigger schools and smaller schools? You bet. That is part of it. But at the same regard, you know, we've been practicing for over two weeks now, and uh, it, it's time to play against somebody else. This gives us an opportunity to look at different lineups and like you alluded to a while ago, um, you know, I'm going to have a, a big mix from freshmen, sophomore, juniors, and seniors. And we're going to have a lot of different mixes and a lot of different people on the floor just to see what, what combinations are going to work well for us. So, um, you know, I think Pierce City is is comparable to our size, but East Newton and Forsyth, they're, they're bigger schools, maybe three or four A. So it's going to be good for everyone involved, I believe. Will be for will be good for everybody involved in this uh, jamboree, and also right after you guys play Ash Grove, you're back home. You're going to be hosting your own tournament, the Crane Lady Pirate Classic. I believe that is the uh, second annual one for this year. So, who are the teams going to be in it besides uh, you guys? Well, uh, this is the second annual here. We got Hollister as the one seed. We're the two seed. Greenwood is the three seed. Four seed is Cassville. Um, they play the five seed Pierce City. Six is New Covenant. Um, we play the seventh seed, uh, Monette, and then eight, Galena, rounding, out, rounding, rounding out our tournament. Rounding out that tournament. So that tournament, that was the one that uh, Hollister took last year against you guys in the championship game in that tournament. And then also some other tournaments. I believe you're in the uh, Marionville tournament, and then you're going to be in the uh, Walnut Grove tournament during uh, Christmas. So going to those tournaments, what do you expect and what do you know about those two tournaments? Well, they're always uh, actually a good, good, great tournaments for us. You know, we like going to Walnut Grove and, and seeing all those schools play, uh, especially over the holidays. It's just a, it's just a good time. And the Marionville tournament's always competitive. We look to be competitive in it again this year. I think we we won that last year, so we we uh, hopes are high for those tournaments. Hopes are high for those tournaments. And also to talk about is we, you did lose one uh, player to the transfer. That was uh, Zoe Real, who transferred to Rogersville. So is that going to be s some big shoes to fill for your players to uh, fill in the role that Zoe had last year? Oh, yeah, definitely. She had a big impact when she worked hard and when she was on the floor. So those will be some stats that we got to take up somewhere. Some stats are going to be taken up for her. So – what is the uh, crane way that you're going to be coaching these players on the uh, court? Well, just just be, try to be fundamentally sound. Limit our turnovers, good solid defense play, and uh, control the rebounding and free throw of the game. Controlling the turnovers and the, uh, the rebounding in those games. And now uh, going into this uh, conference with, um, with you guys, along with uh, Billings, Blue Eye, uh, Galena, Southwest Spokane, and uh, Sparta, along with Purdy, who do you think is going to be at the top, and who do you think will 
be the team that's going to be the one to beat in the uh, Southwest Central League this year? Well, I think it's it's going to be you know uh, once again Blue Eye, Blue Eye, and and Sparta. You know until somebody knocks those two off, it's it's theirs. So uh, I think those two teams will be tough outs this year. And uh, you know the SWCL plays is, is back on the rise again. A lot of good teams with quality competition. So, um, the SWCL will be tough again. SWCL will be tough again this year. And also, I believe you guys will play an, a team that used to be in the SWCL. I believe that is a Forsyth. I believe you guys don't play Clever anymore, but you do play Forsyth. So what do you know about uh, Forsyth when you guys play them during the season? Well, not right, not much right now. I've lost track of who they graduated and who they're bringing back. So hopefully we'll see them tonight in our jamboree so we get a little better uh, idea about them. A little better idea about it when you guys take on Forsyth in the uh, Jamboree. And now going further down the road to um, to districts, as uh, you guys will still pray, will still remain Class 2, I believe. So who do you think yeah, will be in so. your districts for this year? Well, I'm not for, sure. I'm not for sure because I think Miller is going to drop back down to 2A, and I think uh, Sparta will drop back down to 2A as well. But I'm not for sure. It's always interesting how the count and all those numbers break and how how Misha sets it. So we'll just have to wait and see. And and, uh, that should be out shortly. So we'll see. Districts will be out shortly to see where everybody will go in the uh, in the districts. Also, once again, you guys do take on Ash Grove on uh, Monday, November 22nd. So going into that game against Ash Grove on November 22nd, the Monday before Thanksgiving, what do you know about Astro that you guys or when you've played them in the past? Well, they're traditionally big. Um, they're a good, fundamentally sound ball club. Yeah, coach does a good job over there. And, you know, now they have a Division One signee. Uh, I think she signed with Missouri State the other day. So um, that, that'll that be a really tough, tough opening game for us. Um, see if we can stop her or well, not stop her, but hopefully try to contain her some and with the rest of her teammates. They got a strong supporting cast returning. I know they lost Eagleburger and, and a few others. That, that will hurt them. But I think with all their reserves and stuff, that they, they should be pretty pretty tough. Should be pretty tough in the uh, Ash, for uh, Ash Grove with uh, Chloe Mode, who signed Division One to uh, Missouri State. And uh, as you said, Miller is going to be dropping down. We might see – we could see Marionville in that uh, district this year. But who you knows? Because you guys could go west, you guys could go east, and yeah. So it's been a while since we posted uh, districts at Crane. Well, last year districts was all over the place because of COVID. So, um, where do you think districts will be at this year? I don't know. Uh, anywhere but Blue Eyes, my vote. Anywhere but Blue Eyes, because Blue Eyes—that's a long ways to travel. And so, yes, sir. Looking down the. Down the line, you guys will end the season with uh, Pierce City, which you guys do see him tonight in the uh, Jamboree. So, <clears throat> what have you known about Pierce City in the past? Well, they're traditionally big, athletic, and uh, they work hard. So, we'll see what they bring to the table tonight, but I'm sure all those attributes will be there. Attributes could be in there when they take on Pierce City. That's going to be a little bit further down the road. But... Um, Another way is when you guys go into practice and uh, and games and also into this jamboree, what's going to be one word that describes these Crane Lady Pirates? Hopefully tough. Tough. Tough is the word that describes this Crane Pirates team. And um, another another one to talk about is during the uh, this season that's going to be upcoming is um, what are you going to be expecting from your uh, seniors along with your uh, sophomores, juniors, and freshmen on this team for this season. Well, I expect my seniors. You know, this is the uh, well, sixth sixth year in our program, so I expect them to hit the ground running. I expect them to be leaders the same way as my juniors. Um, you know, my sophomores and freshmen they'll get some time, but th- it'll take them a little bit to learn. So I'm just hoping everybody comes out, plays hard, stays injury free, and tries to improve some aspect of their game improve some aspect in their game. And now with uh, State, which that's going to be back in Springfield, we all know that it's been um, five years since you guys have gone to the state tournament. That was back in 2016 when the uh, tournament was up in Columbia. So 
in order to get to uh, Springfield. Who do you think is going to be the big team to to take down if you want to get to Springfield for the Final Four? I'd say it has to be Blue Eye. You know, they went to, to the Final Four the last two or three years. So I would say if you can you can knock them off, which is no easy task, uh, I think you'd have a legitimate shot to go to Springfield. Legitimate shot to go to Springfield if you take down Blue Eye, which I don't believe they won the state tournament, but they were in the Final Four. But if yeah. I rem- So they did not win the state, but they were in the Final Four. And also, yes, sir. <clears throat> Also, one other thing is during this uh, this season, as is if there, is there going to be some uh, still some protocols with uh, COVID nineteen going on this year? Not that I'm aware of. I, I don't know of any as as far as yet. So we'll see as we go. So who knows? Who knows? So before we let you go, very far words you had to say to all the coaches that you're going to be playing this year. What would your words be to all those coaches that you're going to be playing? this year starting with Ashgrove going all the way down to uh Pierce City and the teams that you'll be playing in your three tournaments the Crane, Lady Pirates Invitational, the Walnut Grove Holiday Classic and the Marionville Lady Comet Classic. Well I hope everybody stays injury free and healthy and uh I hope everybody has some fun because you know sometimes we lose the stuff that it's it's a game. It's a child's game and, and it's supposed to be fun. It's a child's game. It's supposed to be fun. And that will end today's show for today. We, we hope you enjoyed our show. We hope you enjoyed us sitting down with the head coach of the Crane Lady Pirates, Coach Jeremy Mullins. If you want to stay connected with the Crane Lady Pirates through their social media, be sure to like them on Facebook. Also follow them on Twitter. Their Twitter is at Crane Hoops. Once again, it's Crane Hoops on Twitter. Also check out Mission.org for their schedule. As I will mention, they will open the season with Ashgrove on the road before coming, before coming home for the Crane Lady Pirates Invitational, where they will see eight teams with there are seven other teams with Hollister, along with Monette, Cassville, uh, East Newton, Pierce City, Galena, and uh, New Covenant. If you want to stay connected with those art sports bar through our social media, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, and check out our website. Our website is ozarksportsport.com slash ozarksportsport. One final time, I want to thank Head Coach Jeremy Mullins for sitting down with us to talk about the upcoming season, and we'd like to wish Coach Jeremy Mullins best of luck in the upcoming 2021 season. For one final time, I'm Adam Smith.